Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Roxanne. Today we are going to be doing Try Beauty Box, although now it's in a bag. <laughs> my daughter just walked by with her unicorn. I'm not exactly sure what she's doing, but anyway. Okay, so Tribe is a bi-monthly box, bed, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that means you will you will only get it six times a year. Um, it is $39.99 American plus shipping. It is a Canadian subscription box that does ship from um, Canada. It's just that she deals with a lot of American company, so it's easier for her just to keep the currency in American dollars, unfortunately. Still doesn't take away from the box. It is a bit expensive compared to other boxes, but the items in this box do not generally have an inflated value. The um, palettes, I have to say, are pretty much indie brands, which is absolutely amazing. Um, she did have, uh, I think last month and the month before, um, or the box, bag, whatever you want to say, she had those beautiful Lexi brushes, um, from them, and they are some of my favorite brushes. These are the brushes. Um, these are the nicest, um, Lexi brushes I have gotten from a subscription box. Um, so yes, um, this is one box, or bag, whatever you want to say. This is one subscription that I will not get rid of. Um, if you use my code, or you can use the link below if you hit the description and go down there, um, you will save $7 off your first box, and I do get credit for that, and I absolutely appreciate anybody that does sign up underneath my name. Um, this month's box, I'm actually really surprised it hasn't sold out, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, I, don't, I can't remember what's in it exactly, but I do know that a Nomad cosmetic product is in this bag. And if you guys follow me at all, you will know that I only have one Nomad palette, and I love the brand. Um, I do have a few of the little ones, but there's just something about them that I absolutely love. I trying desperately to get uh, my hands on the palette that Ipsy was supposed to ship me, but they didn't. I don't know what happened with that. I don't think a lot of people got that one, so... Anyway, I actually haven't even opened this up, and I've completely forgotten what's in this bag, box, subscription. So I've just done the basics, um, so we're just going to pull it all out here. I do like the fact that they did switch to the bag. They did have it in a box, and I did like the box. Um, I do like the fact that the bag is at least customizable a little bit there for them. Um, so... Now, I am going to say this once, and um, I think this goes for any of the brands. I don't know if that's on a tilt. I'll have to check in the uh, videos. Uh, right now, the United States is having some issues. There's a lot of things that are sitting on a, on ships in the dark in, I believe, Los Angeles, but I'm not 100% sure, that are waiting to be unloaded. This means that there's a lot of products that are just sitting there, and, I mean, Splendies has been affected. Um, if you guys look, I didn't do a September Splendies. I was just charged for my... October Splendies, but they haven't shipped yet. Um, so they have sent me out notice and they've sent me out notice. I am not getting too anxious about it. Oddly enough, Ipsy shipped early this month. Not sure what happened there, but they did. So anyway, um, you'll find that I'm not going to sit here and, and complain about that kind of stuff. Only because I, I, I understand where they're coming from. And... I don't want to be that Debbie Downer. I also want to go through some of my mail. I didn't bring it all out, but I do have some of it here. Okay, so the first thing I actually see here is my Nomad. I got a highlighter. Um, this was something that was customizable. Um, I believe when you order your box, if you're ordering this month's box, you will get to uh, um, customize. And yes, they do have customization. They do have an add-on shop. Um, yeah, so I just... Let's see here. So this is the Nomad uh, highlighter. So this will definitely be staying in my collection. Um, I will say that out of all of the palettes I've got from... Uh, fine, you know what? I don't need the box. <laughs> I 
just want my highlighter, guys. Okay, I shouldn't do that. My arm hurts. <laughs> I had a massage today, so that's why I'm doing this video awfully late. Um, okay, look at that. So this is the Kofa Nung Moonlight. So I believe it's the purple one. It is. <laughs> look at this box. This is box. This is beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm excited to use that. Okay, so this is... $17 US. Um, if you have not tried the Nomad Cosmetics, I highly suggest you do. And if you, uh, you know, if you're talking to anyone from Nomad, let them know that I'm a big fan. If they want to get me on their PR list, I'm all up for that. Really feels like my camera's tilted. Okay. Okay. So the next item I see is the Able Skin Care 3 in 1 Glycol Acid Molecular Boost Eye Serum. Okay. So. This is, does that say $160? She just had her birthday and daddy's birthday is coming up. So she is going to be singing guys. Um, I know I tried to make these videos as professional as I can. I am not a professional. But yeah, it's always interesting to hear her in the background. And she, like I said, she's been sick. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to look this up because I have a hard time <clears throat> believing that price tag. There are nine products. Okay, so this is, oh, okay. So this is not a full size item. So the full size item is $160. Uh, uh, and um, this is... 15 mils, and that says 15 mils. Oh, my Lord. Now, the $160 one comes in a really nice pump. I'm going to pop up the picture. Okay. It has one review for five star. Um, this was made in uh, the European Union. Okay. So it's always carry out a 24 hour patch test before first used. And do not ingest. Please note that. Do not eat this. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to actually give this a try out. I'm going to let you know what I think of it. Um, that is surprising. Okay, so that kind of blows me out of the box that they were able to get something like that. This is relatively unknown. Do I think it's $160? Probably not. But, you know, they don't put the prices. And it's funny, I just said that they don't put overly inflated price things in here. But apparently... <laughs> but again, they don't make the the prices. They, they are saying that this is worth $160. Um, the Able Skin. So, okay. So the next item I see here is a Pure Less So I got two face masks. So Pure or Less, we have all know, we all see. Um, this is something I won't really complain about. This is a good face mask. Um, I do like face masks. It's valued at six dollars. Um, and this one here is the We Glow Rich Collagen Face Mask, valued at $6 as well. So those two items are absolutely nice to have. I like the fact that uh, um, they're two different kinds instead of just one. That is nice. Um, okay, so uh, ooh, I think I actually have this color. No, maybe not. So I do have a few Suvia lipsticks. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find them. What is that one? That one is not Suvia. Suvia is actually a Canadian brand. So this is valued at $18 US. They are on super great quite a bit. I absolutely love their lipsticks. They're they're very ups, they're nice. They're they're great. I love them. And they have some really beautiful colors. This is some fictional beauty. So I will give that a try on today. Um, okay, so then the last item is sealed. This is a totally tubular palette. This palette I absolutely had to get my hands on. They also had um, a really beautiful uh, palette last month. And I think that was the, um, the Pastel Dreams. Okay, I thought it opened up like a book, but it doesn't. Okay. 
So this is from Lorella. Now this isn't the first palette that um, we have gotten from them. So I know this is a good quality palette. It's valued at $29. Oh my lord. Whoa. I... Goonie. Oh my gosh. They did not. Okay, so feels of like the 80s. So are they, are they are they referencing one of my other favorite movies, The Goonies? Like, yes, they are because they got Bueller, they got Baby, um, they got Sixteen, Wake Me Up, Maverick. Oh my lord, Molly, Molly Ringwald's the nice bright pink makes sense to me. Uh, Material Girl, Rhapsody. Wow, Magnolias, another great movie. I did not grow up <laughs> in the eighties or nineties. No, seriously though, the Goonies, they made this kind of crappy color, but now I, I need to have it on my face. Okay, so this is a 24 p.m. palette. Um, oh no, the, sorry, this is a 20s. I apologize, I was wrong. Okay, so features 80s inspired high pigment shades, perfect for bold glam. Remix between velvety buildable mattes and shimmer, metallic shimmer shades for iconic looks that will turn head. Okay, so... I'm excited to play with this. I forgot how beautiful this is. This is actually going to stay probably in my collection because seriously, anything that has the Goonies in it. Yeah. And this would definitely go with it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's, let's start a look, guys. I'm excited. Are you excited? Uh, like we're 12 minutes into this and I haven't started <laughs> okay so let's see here um, I'm actually gonna go in with the Goonies I need to go in with this mustard color I mean this is the color I would have chose to represent the Goonies this kind of not most appetizing colors but Goonies never say die I have to say, I'm actually really impressed with that color. Is it my color? No, but this is a nice, um, good base color. Um, it's like a gold, a very toned down gold. Oh my gosh. I had this look in my mind of what to do, and now I just like totally forgot it. It doesn't mean I still can't do it. I'm going to have to figure out a different way to do it. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with, I have no idea. Um, I'm going to go in with rain. I am going to go in with rain. This is purple, metallic um, color. I, of course, am going to do a very 80s look, so. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I think it's it's okay. Um, let's see here. Actually, there's, kind of like this one. Not right now. I think I'm actually going to go in with. I'm gonna go in like, I don't know, maybe a brush like this one, okay. So I think I'm actually gonna go in with, um, we're gonna go in with Molly with this one here. We're gonna have a bit of fun. We're gonna do an 80s look. I mean, Halloween is coming up, so it's not like we can't pretend that we're doing a look with an 80s inspired theme. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, I think with, reflex and this is this dark blue color here and I'm going to okay so I just got notification that my other palette is gonna be on its way soon from super great
So I'm going to kind of just do a V. Okay. So I kind of messed up on this eye a little bit, but we're going to be okay with that. Okay. So I'm actually going to go in. So, yeah. I, I have no idea what to go in. Maybe 16. Do you think 16? Yeah, 16 should stand out. Should stand out. Okay. I'm going to go in with just a little one here. Ooh, look at that color. So I did put a bit of just foundation on my eye right here just because I messed up on the one eye and I just wanted to kind of create a line with it. My son is down here right now with his sister, so they're hanging out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right there. I wanna put on eyelashes, so I will be right back. Okay, so I did use my mascara. I did mess up a little bit here, but we're gonna fix that. Um, so I did put on the mascara. I did put on the, these are the Ardell lashes that I used the last time, and I really, really like them. So anyway, um, I didn't fix anything else, um, but let's continue on. So I am gonna go in with that Molly color again. And I am just going to do this again. As you can see some of the colors has co have come up, so I'm just going to try to, you know. I'm actually gonna take this, and I think I'm gonna win with this Wake Me Up. Miss this beautiful blue. Okay, so I did um, step off the camera there for a second. I was trying to get something, did not work. So anyway, um, I think I'm actually gonna go in with, so I put the blue on and I put it all the way out here. Um, why did I do that? Because we're gonna have some fun here like we already are having fun I think um I think I'm gonna go in with this righteous and I got this big brush and I just wanna I'm not gonna put it all the way down I'm just gonna put it somewhat do you see where I'm putting it to that's all I'm gonna put it to I guess I didn't need a big brush but that's what I grabbed Okay, um, then I think I'm going to take this. We're going to make this look a little over the top. I haven't got that one yet. Um, there's so many colors here that I want to play with, so I'm going to be doing another video tomorrow. I'm just doing another wild look with this one. I'm going to go in with this material girl and just put it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Mirabella. Okay, so let's go in with this highlighter. I'm actually going to use a small brush here I put it on my lips look at that isn't that cute okay so Let's see if I can rock up the 80s hair look probably not but what do you guys think of this look it is so much fun Halloween's coming up. All right, so I am going to say that this is definitely a keeper. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I am keeping that. Look, I put it in with the lipstick. It does not look great. And this lipstick is absolutely amazing. It's a liquid lip, sorry. Um, yeah, we're, I just put it down and I've already lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Almost babies. Just give me a minute. So I'm going to say I did use this lip scrub and then the birthday cake. I got it in one of the last few boxes. This stuff is absolutely so tasty. I almost actually just scooped it out and ate it. Um, then I got the Totally Tubular Lorella 
palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is amazing. It is gorgeous. The pigment is there. The, the sparkle, the shine, the metallic, the mattes. It blended well. It is staying where I put it without any primer. So that's pretty good. Now this is only $29. That's actually a pretty reasonable for a palette. This is one of the more expensive um, boxes out there subscription, but is totally worth it. I think um, I find that there's not a whole lot of fillers in here. Um, I do like that it's a little bit skincare. It is a little bit makeup. Um, the, the woman that owns it, um, is absolutely amazing. She actually, during COVID, she was working in her apartment packing boxes by herself to make sure that she didn't let her subscribers down. That's absolutely amazing in my opinion. She is Canadian too. So anyway, um, I'm going to say this, this is my favorite thing though from the box. I'm really glad I was able to get this. So if Billy, if you're watching this, thank you so much for including Nomad. Now, if you can get one of their palettes in the boxes, I'd be over the moon. Um, Suvia is again, Canadian brand. This is a gorgeous lipstick and adding the, um, highlighter to it really stepped it up. This is something that I might be doing a little more often. I'm not going to lie. Um, and as for the palette, you can have so much fun with it. Um, like I said, it's so worth it. There's so many products. Um, and that, I mean, I haven't even talked about the face mask or the eye stuff cause I haven't used it. So I will get to it. I want to also say that I got a scrubber in the last box and I'm going to tell you right now, I have been using it and it has worked wonders on my body acne. I did not expect that, especially at the price point. I thought it was just like an overpriced tool that really wasn't gonna work, but it does. Now it doesn't kind of subs up the soap that I used with it, but I think if I just, um, what I was doing was just sudsing up the soap on another washcloth and then using that to scrub and massage that soap in. And it was helping with my body acne. I was getting it really bad on the shoulders. And then I stopped using it. And now I'm starting to get it back. So I go back to using it um, in the next shower. <laughs> So yes, it was definitely one of the most underrated surprising products for me for this year. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. So I also want to say, if you use the code Roxanne, you will save $7 off your first box for this. If you get a chance, I would definitely grab this box. This has got to be one of my favorite subscriptions of all the subscriptions, subscriptions that are out there. I'm supporting a woman owned uh, brand that likes to bring in indie brands. So, I mean, I'm not, nothing against the brands that are already out there. There's just something about getting some, a brand that you've never tried before that's absolutely amazing and finding a new um, favorite or a new holy grail. And this is a great way to try it. It's actually trying to um, pull in women owned brands as well, which is absolutely great too. Um, I will also say that like, I, I, I'm, I'm blown away by the, actually by the um, eye cream that's in this. Am I gonna try it? Absolutely, it is going on tonight. I'm going to bump my doll 10 eye cream that I absolutely love right now. And I'm gonna try this out and I'm gonna try it out for about a week and I'm going to let you know how it works and if it really works. Cause this lady has got some wrinkly, saggy skin under her eyes and bags. And don't forget like I am, my face is, for, fairly still kind of swollen with my teeth kind of randomly hurt from that mass that's in my sinuses and yes I am being rushed to end this so guys thank you guys so much for watching I can't um tell you how much each of you means to me apparently my daughter has decided that she is hungry tell us I tell you Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you um, if you would could give this video a like, give it a share, and make sure you are subscribed. Also, drive it, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this look and um, what kind of look you would like to see me to do uh, on my next video. Hopefully, it's tomorrow. Fingers crossed with this palette, and I will uh, I will definitely try to um, try it out. Have a great day, everyone.